Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about top 5 free weight leg exercises that you can do in your training to grow your legs. Now if you're someone like me, when I first got into training, the gyms that I trained at didn't have the biggest variety in choice for machines when training legs. After years of training, I will say that from training only free weights to then training more predominantly with machines, I will say that my leg growth has increased quite significantly from adding in machines such as a hack squat, a pendulum squat, and a good leg press. But that being said, there is still room for free weights and I do believe that free weights are a great option to train your legs, make them stronger, get them bigger, and it's a great way to have some versatility in your training from compound exercises to unilateral movements. A lot of gyms are gonna have an option of either some barbells, a squat rack, or some dumbbells. So you can use these exercises in most gyms that you train at. On the other hand, the machines, such as I mentioned earlier, aren't always available in gyms, especially some commercial gyms and maybe residential gyms or work gyms. So that being said, let's get into our five movements. We'll say just quickly that there's no particular order to these movements. They're not in a best down to worst. It's just five movements in random order. Number one, we have the classic barbell squat. This is such a great movement for increasing your strength, growing those legs, and it's gonna target quads, some glutes, and even ductors, especially if you're going low enough and getting a big enough stretch at the bottom of the movement. What I will say with this movement as well is that it's very versatile. So you can obviously do these with body weight, as a finisher, you can do goblet squats with dumbbells and then also with a smith machine and a barbell like seen in the video. Now the benefits to using a barbell over a dumbbell is that you're going to be able to load it a lot heavier and for most people that is what they're going to need. Your legs are going to be your strongest muscle group in your body so you're going to need to be able to load with enough weight to be able to test them and not have to do a million reps. For me, it was essential at the start of my training to not only increase the size of my legs, but also strength. It is a very difficult movement to nail down with correct technique, so I will always suggest to make sure you take your time to learn how to do the movement correctly. It's a very complicated movement, and for a lot of beginners, it's something, including myself, that is very easy to mess up. So. Make sure you're doing it safe and take your time to learn how to do the movement properly. At number two, so we are going to go into more of your posterior chain now into your back side of the legs. So predominantly your hamstrings and your glutes with this exercise and it's going to be a deadlift. Now with a deadlift, this is again one of my favourite movements from a free weight in general for the whole body. And like I just said with the squat, take your time with this movement. It is a very easy movement to get wrong and injure yourself. When you're doing your deadlifts, what you're looking for is your feet hip width apart, maybe a little bit outside, and then we are hinging at the hips to begin with. So we are moving our hips behind us towards the back of the room. And then as our hands progress down towards the bar, we get a bend in the knees once we can't take our hips any further back. For me personally, a deadlift is a great movement, it's fun to do, and it's a great way to, if you're someone especially wants to increase their strength, uh, is very good for that as well. And nothing really beats that feeling of lifting heavy on a deadlift and beating up your PRs. So a deadlift for me is one of the better free weight leg movements that you can do. Again, a lot more challenging, very taxing on the body. So with that and a squat, I would always recommend to do these two at the start of your workout. Coming in at number three is very similar to a deadlift and it's gonna be a Romanian stiff leg deadlift. Now there's a couple variants you can do for this just because it's gonna primarily 
work your hamstrings and the variation will go more into your glutes. So the difference between a Romanian stiff load deadlift and a normal deadlift that you've just seen is the movement's always going to start at the top. Of this is essential that you are hinging at your hips. I see a lot of people doing this movement and it's all going through your back and with that hip hinge it completely goes and with that you're losing any sort of tension through the hamstrings and the glutes which are the two muscles that we're trying to hit and it's all going to go into your back especially your spine and your erectors and um, which have a slight bend in the knee not too much and that's going to really help keep that stretch on the hamstrings and the most tension here is going to come at the bottom of the movement so you're going to really be loading that hamstring in that stretch position now with a slight variation in it you can hit the glutes and with this you'll just increase a bit more of a bend into the knees and again still trying to push those hips backwards but again i do like this movement it's very good for hitting those hamstrings regardless of any machines i always have this in my program you can also very easily do this with dumbbells as well so there is a good variety there between a barbell and a dumbbell doesn't matter what gym you're at you're probably going to have those two available to you okay so number four and five we're going to go into a bit more unilateral movements now so some single-sided stuff starting off at number four is going to be a lunge variation Again, personally for me, I would say very hard movement to do. And a very good movement for hitting the quads, hitting the glutes, hitting the hamstrings, depending on how you do it. With this movement as well, you don't need a lot of space. You don't have to do a walking lunge. You can also do a stationary lunge, either forward, backwards, or towards the side. And that is why lunge is such a great movement because depending on the angle that you do it, you can really change what muscle you're trying to hit here. Lunge is a very versatile movement and I'd always recommend this if your gym doesn't have a lot of equipment and you've always got dumbbells available or maybe even kettlebells and you can really focus on hitting single sided movement here. So you're really gonna help work out any imbalances that you might have. Final exercise to wrap up the list, number five is going to be a split squat. As Seth mentioned, another unilateral movement. So we're really gonna help iron out any sort of muscle imbalances we've got here. Now, what I would recommend with a uh, split squat compared to, like I mentioned at the start of the video, with a back squat, is to maybe load this more towards the end of a workout, primarily because it's gonna be very hard to load these muscles up with the weights you have available with dumbbells to really take them to a point of true fatigue. Moving these exercises from mid to the end of the workout, I would recommend more so purely because it's very hard to carry that weight to really take them to that point of failure. Now, why I like a split squat is because it's very good to really focus on that one leg at a time and depend on the angles that you have your knee at is really gonna depend on whether you are gonna be hitting your quad or more your glutes. And for a variation, you can go for a Bulgarian split squat where you have a rear foot elevated or you could also have a front foot elevated, which is gonna help just increase that range of motion to get a bit more of a stretch. That is it, that will be my top five movements for the free weights for legs. Now with this, you're gonna hit every single muscle group. You're gonna be hitting your quads, you're gonna be hitting your glutes and your hamstrings. You have a good variety in all the movements as well. And they are absolute solid basic movement patterns that you should have in your training programs. Let me know which exercises you're going to be adding to your next leg day workout in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this type of video let me know and i could maybe do this for another body part or muscle group thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe and like the video to help the channel grow any support is really appreciated and i will catch you in the next video